Yo, it's Willie Rowe. And today I'll be going over on how to make shroom tea and why shroom tea is the bomb and why you may not want to consume magic mushrooms in any other way, but the way of the tea. So what you will need is two cups of water, a half an inch of ginger root peeled, one lemon, a couple of tea bags, a filter, a tea kettle, or a pot to boil water. And of course, ground or chopped mushrooms. Now for the sake of this demonstration, we'll just pretend these tea leaves are three and a half grams of mushrooms since that's a standard dose for a psychedelic experience. And if you want to use less or more, that's totally cool. This recipe should work either way. Also, you could blend your mushrooms to a powder or you can just chop them up into small pieces, which is what I always do and it's always worked for me. Now, you would bring two cups of water with your ginger root to a full blown boil in your teapot. And once it's hot and ready, let the pot rest for a minute. After a minute, pour one cup of water from the teapot into the cup with the mushrooms. Now make sure to filter out the ginger root and place it back in the pot and allow the mushrooms to sit for 10 minutes. You can also add an herbal tea bag while you're at it. And once 10 minutes is up, you can filter the remnants of the mushrooms by pouring your tea into another cup with a filter. Then once again, you can repeat the same steps. Pour a second cup of hot water on top of the mushrooms, same as you did before, and add a second tea bag and leave it for 10 minutes. You can leave the ginger root in the tea, but if you're not a fan of spice, then feel free to remove it. Fast forward to 10 minutes later, you can filter the mushrooms and pour your tea in the same cup if you have a large mug or in another cup. Now, if you're like me and you're not bothered by the taste of mushrooms, having them in your tea and eating them. In that case, no need to filter them out. You can just keep them in your tea or place them back in. Now make sure to squeeze a lemon into your tea to make it more flavorful and assist further with the digesting process. And an optional choice is to add a tablespoon of honey for taste. So pretty simple, right? And once you do mushroom tea, I guarantee a majority of people won't want to go back to the regular ways of consuming and eating mushrooms because it pretty much eradicates stomach aches, nausea, and the ginger root definitely deserves some credit for that. But the tea also has a better taste to it. I know some people can't handle the taste of shrooms. They complain to the point that it just bothers them for the first half of the trip, just stays in their mindset and in the taste buds. Uh, there's also a faster onset. However, the trip doesn't last as long. So usually it feels a couple of hours shorter than the standard four to six hour trip. But do remember, it does come off faster and the psychedelic effects are a little more amplified, prob probably because it hits you in such a quick wave as opposed to just coming on gradually. If this is something you're concerned about, or you want to trip longer, you can always just take your time in drinking the tea. That's pretty much it. So feel free to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, show love. Much love to all you guys. Thank you for listening out there. And bye con Dios.